I got a wooden dowel to act as the uh, stem of the war club that I'm going to put in this warrior's hand. But it's too thick and too straight. And uh, I wanted to be more of a natural look, so I went out and got a stick off the tree. Uh, or the uh, bush right next to my house, uh, front porch, and uh, got this instead because I like this uh, little section here. So I cut off the top, and now I'm just trimming it up and skinning it out uh, to get it to be the size that'll fit in his hand. And what I like about it is not completely straight, which I've noticed some of the war clubs uh, that I've researched aren't. So I'm just going to whittle a little bit and uh, take off the bark, or not. I will figure that out. All right, I've had some uh, wax uh, softening up for me. I remember when I was a kid, I'd go into the and living in Salt Lake or in the Salt Lake Valley going to the museum on Temple Square and and they had mummies of Indians that have since been repatriated to uh, to the Native American people so that uh, they could repatriate the uh, bodies to their own burials or reburials but I remember seeing stone uh, war club heads that had been made out of smoothed uh, river rock and uh, beautiful things just polished perfectly with a groove right in the middle so that uh, they could be attached to a stick. I always thought man I'd hate to have one of those hit me on the forehead or you know, on my head and I still feel that way uh, and if I was going to pick a, a war club between a hatchet and uh, a stone on a club I'd take the stone on the club every day because of the fact that that stone flying through the air and at the end of a club could carry a lot of smashing ability and, uh, pardon my hands as they're off camera while I form this, uh, stone head here. Now they'd be different shapes. There'd be, uh, ones that <coughs> would be round but pointed on both ends with the, uh, groove in the middle. And there'd be those that, uh, would be uh, round with kind of like a uh, not a sharp edge but to a kind of a shaped edge but I would think that if you were swinging it at a guy that has a rifle and he's holding the rifle up to protect himself or a spear or another war club, that a stone head would carry so much weight that uh, it would literally smash through all that protection. And if uh, you got somebody holding up a, a shield, another tribe, and tribes did fight amongst each other despite stories you may have heard that only white men killed Indians. Indians uh, were pretty good at killing each other in battles because everybody you know you, we judge people of the past by our sensitivities today and quite honestly we can't do that because uh,
things change. Attitudes change. Uh, history gets changed. All kinds of things happen. Now that's not perfectly balanced. Let's just take a look. Yeah, see, I've got to take a little bit off this end. Too much weight on this end. <sighs> that feels better. Now I'm going to let that harden. seat on yeah that looks pretty good and the reason I'm doing a short uh, war club is because when you ship a bronze you don't want parts of it getting bent and bronze is a very soft soft metal and so if uh, <coughs> pardon me Play ready here. Let's see how it works. Now, for the maximum damage, I'd hold it back as far as I could on the handle. And that doesn't look too bad. I, yeah, it's probably hard for you to see, uh, but with the shield and all, I think that's going to look good. I'm going to call it quits for today only because. I'm still not, I'm still shaky. Uh, and uh, I just felt a moment of uh, wanting to get back into sculpting this and at least get the war club started. And I apologize for the short video, but uh, it's the best I can do right now. I'm just not completely uh, recovered, so to speak. But uh, I'm just taking it one day at a time. You, you know, you get 70 years old, you really got to watch everything because uh, even a small cold can uh, be more than you want. All right. So that'll be it for today, and I apologize again. But I uh, hope you found it interesting. Good night, everybody. Yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. Small steps. <laughs>